Welcome to Section 8 of the video course. Chances are you may be asking yourself, when am I going to see some maps? This being a course on visualizations, we would be much remiss to overlook these most familiar of all visualizations. After all, we are shown maps from early on, in grade school, in advertising, on the news, and of course, all over the web. Yet, just because something is ubiquitous doesn't necessarily make it the best form for conducting information. The main problem with geographic maps as an information visualization is that three of the four means of encoding information visually, shape, size, and position, are fixed, leaving us to only vary the color values. Thus, looking at a map of the world, Russia, China, Canada, and Greenland always seem to dominate our attention solely due to the fact that they have gigantic land masses when projected in two dimensions. Smaller countries, like the Netherlands and Israel, go largely unnoticed due to their comparatively smaller area. This first video about geovisualizations will walk you through how to fetch raw geographic data from the Natural Earth Repository and use command line tools to transform these proprietary file formats to a format digestible by D3, the GeoJSON format. Though this step isn't strictly necessary, since there are many repositories online for pre-converted GeoJSON files, it is a good idea to be able to know where the original source of the data comes from in case we wanted to make some specific customizations for our own map. We'll start by visiting the Natural Earth site. The site is entirely a labor of love. As programmers and not geographers, we should be thankful for the hours of work that went into the original compilation of these raw coordinates from country outlines to city longitude and latitudes. From the top, click on the Downloads tab, then Cultural under Large Scale Data, then the Download Countries button under the Admin Zero Countries header. Unzipping and looking inside the folder, we'll see the following files. The only one we're really interested in is the .shp or shapefile. Our next step in converting this shapefile is to download a piece of software called GDAL, a helpful command line utility. You can visit the official website, which has links to pre-compiled binaries for all major platforms. If you don't yet have it installed, please pause this video while you download and install it. It's okay, I'll wait. On the command line, let's next run OGR to OGR with the minus F GeoJSON parameter to output to countries.json from the input file any 10 admin 0 countries dot shp. Now we have a geojson called countries dot json. If we open this in a text editor, we'll see the following format. It is important to note that geojson is just JavaScript that uses a specific language of keywords. The main JSON object in geojson is a gigantic object called a feature collection that contains an array of features, which are individual feature objects. Each one of these features represents a country. You can see each country's name, as well as many other items, such as three-character country codes, and many, many more. But the part of the GeoJSON that gives the actual data of the coordinates is the geometry. Within the coordinates are sets of longitude-latitude pairs, each one as a two-value array. This is the information that cartographers have spent generations compiling and refining. It is important to note that longitude is always listed first. So even though it's common to hear people say latitude-longitude, in GeoJSON, it's longitude-latitude. Now there's one more optional step to make our lives much easier. That is to convert our large 25 megabyte GeoJSON file to hold just the information we need to display the countries. We do this using the TopoJSON program, a tool created by Mike Bostock that eliminates redundancy, resulting in a much smaller file. The installer for TopoJSON relies on Node's Package Manager, or NPM. Most web developers have this as one of their tools in his or her toolbox. 
So if you don't have it, there are plenty of websites out there that tell you how to get it and install it. Installing TopoJSON then requires the command npm install minus g TopoJSON. Again, if you need to install this, just pause the video and start me back up when you're done. Now let's call topojson to output to topo underbar countries dot json using su underbar a3 as the identifying property and assigning the property name to name in all caps from the countries dot json file as the final parameter. We are able to reduce the size to nearly 10% of the original, going from just under 25 megabytes to a little under two and a half. Although it may not seem like much was accomplished in this video, we have now taken a raw shape file and converted it to topojson format with about a 90% decrease in file size. As a final step, let's move our topocountries.json file into our working directory. In the next video, we'll feed this to a D3 function that will convert our longitude-latitude data to XY points so that we can draw a map.